Uh, I had already planned this and it didn't work out, but I was going to have my daughter, who is 18, text me just as I started to talk. And I realized that that probably wouldn't be any different than she does normally since she typically sends and receives somewhere around 6,000 text messages a month. She's far behind the leap of the world, which is, I think, that we decide 15,000 text messages a month, something like that. One of the things that, that we have learned in all of our research is that we are looking at a generation that is very, very different. And the kids who form the net generation, those who are in their teens and 20s, are just not at all like the rest of us. They have been raised with technology, literally from birth. They know no other world than the internet, period. They live what I call behind the screen. They're always behind some screen behind a computer screen, behind a TV screen, behind a video game screen, behind their cell phone screen. They are always living behind the screen. And when I published my book, Me, My Space, and I, I was, I was curious as to what people would latch onto. <clears throat> what kind of issues would people find fascinating and interesting? And I was very surprised. There were really three issues that I didn't think that people were going to, to really resonate to. One was this issue of generational differences. I wrote a chapter on generational differences and immediately became apparent to me that people in my generation, baby boomer generation, and people in generation X had really no clue what, now it sounds like I'm not speaking together, had no clue what this young generation was like. And one of the things I did as an exercise, I went to a meeting of an advisory board of a company that makes curriculum materials for middle school, elementary school, and senior high school students. And part of it was, let's see if we can create materials that are good for this generation of kids. And so what we did is we took a chart that I'd made that had all of the characteristics of each of the generations, the net generation, generation X, and baby boomers. And we cut them into pieces and we asked people to assign them to which generation they fit. And I thought, oh, I'm going to sit back and I know this already. I'm going to sit back and they'll get them all right. It's really easy. And in fact, they got them all wrong. They really had no clue about what this generation is like. So let me tell you what they're like. On the average, your kids spend 21 hours a day using technology. Okay, now, that doesn't make sense, right? That doesn't add up. They do sleep, although they probably don't sleep enough, but they do sleep. So how is it that they do that? Well, in fact, they do that because they're multitasking like crazy. They are never in front of a single technology at all. In fact, what we know from our research is a typical middle school or high school 